ఫిజిక్ తోని సో నెక్స్ట్ వీడియో చాప్టర్ లైట్ టాపిక్ రూల్స్ టు కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ రే డయాగ్రామ్స్ సో విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ రే డయాగ్రామ్స్ వీ క్యాన్ లొకేట్ ద ఇమేజ్ విచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఇమేజ్ ఈస్ ఫోన్ బై ఎస్ పర్కల్ మిరర్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ క్యాన్ బీ డన్ సో వాట్ ఆర్ ద రూల్స్ టు కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ దాట్ రే డయాగ్రామ్స్ ఓకే so before going to that topic i will show you uh, your textbook and we have to mark some questions and answers in the textbook so let's do that first after that i will explain how to draw the ray diagrams so it's your textbook page number 161 that's chapter light so here you need to underline spherical mirrors under that topic you need to underline all these points what's a concave mirror what's a convex mirror and write this question on that side what are spherical mirrors name two type of spherical mirrors explain with diagram then on the same page itself define pole center of curvature radius of curvature and principal axis so write the question and mark all these points in your textbook yeah here, here it's a diagram for the principal focus of concave mirror and this one is for convex mirror so already we did the diagram i explained it last day then define principal focus of convex and concave mirror define focal length of spherical mirror yeah equation what's the relation between the radius of curvature and the principal uh, radius of curvature and the focal length r equal to 2f and we did two questions in the last video now this one we will discuss representation of image by formed by spherical mirrors using ray diagrams so before that what are the rules that is used to construct the ray diagram yeah we need two rays of light minimum two rays of light should be there to construct a ray diagram okay minimum two reflected rays should be there to construct a ray diagram means then only we will get the image intersection of that two reflected rays will give the image where it intersects at that point you will get a image so minimum number of rays needed to construct a ray diagram is two now this is the first rule it's given for concave and convex i will explain it just before that i will tell you what all things you have to mark it in the textbook so on this page you have to mark this one on next page you have to mark all these points on the next page uses of concave mirror next page convex mirrors diagram is given uses of convex mirror this when we will do it next topic is sign uh, convention new cartesian sign conventions all these points then mirror formula and magnification yeah yeah till that you have to mark it in your textbook so ray diagram is a drawing that uses geometry to locate image formed by a lens or a mirror that's a ray diagram we will be able to locate the image with the help of light rays we know light travels in a straight line that's rectilinear propagation of light so we will use 
rules four rules are there for concave and convex with the help of that four rules we will construct the ray diagram okay so minimum two rules should be used or two ray should be there to construct a ray diagram then only we will be able to get the image location so that's the first rule ray parallel to principal axis will pass through focus after reflection <coughs> ray parallel to principal axis will pass through focus after reflection i will show you how to draw it so when i tell you you have to draw it in your notebook the heading rules to construct ray diagrams okay no need to write all these things in your notebook just only the ray diagram you need to draw the write up we already marked in the textbook okay so so first rule that is rule 1 when a ray of light parallel to the principal axis incident on a concave mirror it will pass through the principal focus so first one we will draw a concave mirror like this so this shaded portion will not reflect the light only this portion will reflect the light then we will mark the pole then center of curvature so a straight line passing through the pole and the center of curvature is a principal axis so this one is a principal axis short form i will write it as pa okay short form i will write it as pa so first i have done a concave mirror then i mark the pole then i mark the center of curvature the straight line passing through the pole and the center of curvature is a principal axis now first rule a ray of light parallel to the principal axis a ray of light parallel to the principal axis so to represent it as a incident ray we will denote it with the help of an arrow mark then we studied the principal focus is at the midpoint of this line pc the principal focus is located at the mid of this pc so here we can mark the principal focus so a ray of light parallel to the principal axis it will incident on this mirror after reflection it will pass through the principal focus it will pass through the principal focus this is a first rule okay so i will tell you how to draw it when i tell you draw a concave mirror you have to draw a concave mirror okay then i will tell you mark the pole so almost exact the center you will mark the pole all these things should be done with pencil all the ray diagram should be done with pencil okay now i will tell you to mark the center of curvature so with the help of a scale and pencil you will draw a straight line and mark center of curvature then you will mark principal focus at the mid of that line pc then at this left end you will write it as principal axis or you can write it as pa in short form then you will draw a line parallel to principal axis above the principal axis you will draw a line parallel to the principal axis it will incident on this mirror it will be reflected back through principal focus okay so when i tell you draw a concave mirror you have to draw a concave mirror mark the pole mark the pole in your notebook okay now 
for convex mirror also we need to do okay so i will draw a convex mirror this one is a convex mirror this portion will not reflect the light only this portion will reflect the light i will mark the pole mark the pole then center of curvature center of curvature then at the mid of this pz line principal focus principal focus the straight line passing through the principal pole and the center of curvature is known as a principal axis so p a either here or here you will write it principal axis then i will draw a line parallel to the principal axis it will incident on the convex mirror reflection will takes place so this one is a reflected ray then we will back trace a reflected ray so this reflected ray appears to come from the principal focus that reflected ray appears to come from the principal focus okay that's a first rule when a ray of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection it passes through the principal focus in case of a concave mirror for convex mirror a ray of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection it appears to come from the principal focus this is a first rule next rule is a reverse of the first rule okay a ray of light passing through the principal focus after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis a ray of light passing through the principal focus after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis so rule 2 first i will draw a concave mirror mark the pole then i will mark the center of curvature then principal axis at the mid i will mark the principal focus now a ray of light is passing through the principal focus a ray of light is passing through the principal focus after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis this one is for concave mirror for convex i have drawn a convex mirror then mark the pole center of curvature principal focus principal axis principal axis now a ray of light should pass through the principal focus ray of light should pass through the principal focus so a ray of light will incident like this it should pass through the principal focus after reflection it appears to be parallel to the principal axis after reflection it appears to be parallel to the principal axis that is a second rule actually the second rule is a reversal of the first one 
ओके दस बात एरे ऑफ लाइट इज पासिंग थ्रू द प्रिंसिपल फोकस आफ्टर रिफ्लेक्शन इट्स पैरल टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस एरे ऑफ लाइट इंसिडेंट through the principal focus after reflection it's parallel to the principal axis okay normally we can't draw it here that's a virtual focus so we will do it with dotted lines okay virtual image virtual focus and virtual light rays we are back tracing it okay so that we will do it with dotted lines